So we are starting the last phase of the binary bomb, the phase six. And we do it as always. We start with the disassemble of the function. And the first interesting thing scrolling down is that uh, it, there is a call for the read six numbers, and this is a function that we saw before. So we can try to use the same approach even without looking further because there it, it's the same function, the same binary, so it probably works the same way with this one. And if we scroll a little bit more, we found another similarity with other phases. Uh, here we can see that there is an, a, stru uh, a structure. Uh, this time uh, LRDB says it's a node. And for us, it just means it's a, some kind of structure. And it's coming a little bit more. We can see uh, another interesting thing that it's happening here, for example. We see that we have a add one and then compare to six. And if it's not equal, it jumps from an address that it's before the address where we are. So again, this is a loop that it's going to run for six times before going further. The interesting part in the, though is that it's jumping to the one page D8, and this is before the node is structured. So it's iterating something with the structure. We can go a little bit further, and then we can see that here we have a call uh, to the export bomb, that's a call that we don't want to take. And should we skip this one? We want to find a jump that it's going to um, jump after this uh, address that comes before it, right? And just right before, we can see that there is this jump equal to 1961, that it's right after. Uh, and, lead, and this path leads us to the return that is always our goal to return and diffuse the bomb. So now that we have a little bit of information, let's start with phase six. The first thing I want to do is uh, check the structure that we have there. So we know how to do it now. We check with LLDB. It's some kind of structure and the address is 18d7 39 so what's in there okay we can see one two three four five here and then some one two three four and this is one one and here we have some kind of data, so it could be some kind of actual node of a linked list or something similar, but as you can see, it is a structure that's of some sort of. So let's set up our addresses. The, the beginning of the space can be our starting point, right? So we just put like the, the first address that we see here. That is one one eight five B, and we are going to um, again have two targets, one in the middle, so we can ease the work for anger because this space is very memory hungry, and we also need uh, an, the address of the read six numbers, so that we can hook like we did it before. So let's find our first uh, target. So the, in, one of the interesting points that we saw uh, coming from here until the end of the phase, we saw that right in the middle, you have the first branching point that it's interesting for us, that it would be like finishing this uh, this loop that it's jumping like uh, that it's like iterating six times 
So we know that this loop is uh, modifying or handling or manipulating the structure that that we saw before. So we we want somehow to restart when the manipulation is over, because this is something that needs to be done anyway. So my first target would be just after this uh, jump not echo, meaning that we, we finish the six iterations that we want to have with the structure, and we are just wrapped to that. So my first target would be the 1906. So and now for the second one. The second one is the one that we already know. We want to reach the return. Here, as always, we want it uh, before we pop and destroy everything. So what I would do is like just um, we know that if it's not equal, we are jumping to this call. So we want to make sure that we are actually here at least. And that's why we are going to put our target as this one. So before we destroy everything, but after this jump, being sure that we are going to return. So this one is the 1971. And the read six numbers is easy. We just go to the call. And it's 1C11, right? This is the address of our read six now. Okay, so there we go. We have our important addresses for anger. We can copy and paste the read six numbers uh, function. Uh, I just changed it like to the six and returning six, just because we can. And then we need to um, do the hooking. Uh, as we saw before, we just need to add a hook with project.hook and then we need to give it like what we want to hook and that's the read six numbers address and with what we what we want to do with this hook so it's our read six numbers function so this state we did it already multiple times uh, by now. As project factory, um, we start with a blank state that starts in the beginning of the phase. So yeah, this is the address uh, is phase six. Oh, phase six, and we create our simulation manager. And by now you already realize that sim simulation manager or the sim group, they are the same. So we can just um, put our staging here and we are going to start on that. And this time what we are going to do we, is to find first the 6a. So what all we want is to have active paths that lead us uh, to finishing the loop. So as it is the between state, uh, we just run it in a loop until we found an active state that it's actually after the uh, iteration uh, of the node structure. So let's run it. And this space can take a while, so I will come back in a moment. Yay, it finished. And now what we are going to do is also similar to what we already did before. We are going to store the found um, paths and founds, and then we are going to initiate a second symbolic execution from that point or that state of trying to find the, the end of the target, like a symbolic execution between the two targets, the target one that we just found and the target uh, that it's the end of the return. So we run now the same and 
as soon as we find some path that is um, active in after the iteration on the loop and it goes and it, it finds the target 6p that it was, if we remember, just uh, before destroying everything, but after that jump that um, made sure that we were going to return, then we are going to break and see what's inside of the read six numbers. So let's start this one. This shouldn't take that long. There you go. So let's print the flag to see what we have. And we have a sequence of six numbers. So it could be right. Uh, we add these uh, six numbers into our bomb flag txt. And I'm going to run it here in the in the shell because the Python is consuming a lot of memory. And there we go. We diffuse all the six phases uh, of the binary bomb. 